Alrighty ho friends, welcome to another episode of Trekking Tuesday. Today we moved to TP. Originally, I wasn't going to start uh, videoing until I got a little further in until I found this. What we have here is a makeshift campsite. Huge freaking fire. Trash all over the place. Uh, cutting on the trees here. Cordage, which I'm taking it with me. <laughs> Let's see what else they left. All right, nothing down there. Ah, they cut these trees with a saw. I'm taking a chainsaw, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah that's illegally cutting of the trees. Which you do not freaking do. Trash all over the damn place. But they left a really nice looking tarp. <laughs> I bet you know what's going to happen with that. Uh, it's tent poles. So what I'm going to do. Hmm. It's going to put me off schedule. But you know what. Screw it. We're going to clean this mess up. I'm going to commandeer the, the tarp. And the poles and the cordage, of course. And then I'm going to throw all this damn trash away before we can get any further in. And what is this? Freaking propane bottle, bottle in the fire. Idiots. Idiots. Ah, so we're going to clean this mess up. <laughs> and then we're going to get moving to the teepee. Uh, quick on a quick uh, update on the forecast. Weather conditions right now. Uh, I left the Mountaineer, the temperature was 42, the high today is supposed to be 43, we're pretty close to that right now, slight wind out of the north from 10 to 14 miles an hour, it's supposed to be overcast, but not really, yeah, this really pisses me off, I have cleaned up the site of all the recent trash somebody has left here, or somebody's. Uh, you got to be really careful. I picked up some bank line and wasn't paying attention, and there was hooks in it, and it almost got me. Uh, all the trash in the buckets. If I remember, I'll grab that on the way out. If not, I'll get it next time. It's not going anywhere. And I went to the fire pit, dug out all the crap I could find in there. Of course, you know I took the tarp and the cordage <laughs> just for my time and effort. Okay. We're off schedule by about 30 minutes. We need to get moving. Ah, we are on TP Island, still untouched for now. There's no telling how long it'll remain that way. Uh, okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna drop the poles now. I'm gonna take them, see if I can spread them out a little bit and get it low enough to the ground because I wanna mark where all the ropes were tied off at because I had a perfect and this is going to take two hands I have a feeling maybe oh man these things are really stuck in the ground <laughs> alright let's try this there we go oh I can almost reach them a little bit more okay now obviously we're not going to be able to save that cordage. Uh, but then, okay, I, we can get to it from here. Now, I'm just going to come up here with my knife and put a mark where it was tied off at. And we'll do that on all the poles. So hopefully I can get it perfect again. We'll see. I don't know. Or try. That one's going to be hard to see. Oops, sorry. Oh! Right about there. Alright. Then we'll come over here. And do this little guy. Like so. This one. There you go. And we got one left. Do it right there. 
That looks good. Now we got a general idea. Did I get this one? I don't think I did. Let's do it over here just to make sure. There we go. Got her. Okay, I think we got them all. That one. Yep. 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 Yeah, get this one. Yeah, let's do this one for the heck of it. All right, it's time to drop the poles. We're gonna cut here and on the other side. There. And of course, we're gonna take the cordage with. We're not gonna litter. <laughs> there. Yeah, let's grab this one. There. There we go. They're down. All right. We're going to pack our gear up. We're going to head to the wick, wiki up, see if it's all right. And then we're going to sprout off to the section. I want to put the teepee at, clear the area, drop the gear off. We've got everything over here at the wiki up. All the poles and that cross section poles right there. I use that to stand on. And we're taking a little break. And we're going to inspect the area to make sure nobody be, has been here. And as you can see, nope, all my footprints, still a mud pit, not as bad though. Yes, I haven't bought new boots yet. <laughs> yeah, let's go inside. Looks good. Wood's still here, so is the poop shirt. I talked to the builder of the wiki up, and he said that was not his shirt. I just hit my head. And now we got a mystery on our hands. <laughs> One, somebody else is using this area, which is cool because they have respected it. Or two, some type of a creature has drugged the shirt in there and using it for a bed. I don't know. Eh, weird, huh? All right, so I heard traffic. So I think the road is that way. I'm not sure how far. Uh, the road into the uh, parking lot, actually. Uh, you know what? Let's walk up here real quick. Well, crap, friends. I need to rethink. There's the road. Right there. 125 yards this way. There's a wiki up. So. Uh, where I wanted to set it up probably is not going to be a good idea. We're going to have to think this one through. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it, but the smoke, if it blows the wrong direction, will go across the road and attract attention. We do not want that. Smoke from the fire, of course. Yeah, we're on a game trail, too. Hmm. Yep, we need to do some thinking. All right, let's head back to the wiki up and then uh, figure this one out. I want to show you kind of where we're at. All right, this stick is representing the river and the river bank this here is the road and this here is the property then the river goes that way and this turns into private property which is a farmer's field we steer clear of that right now where this wiki up is is right about there there's the road now the parking lot where is it represented by this here stick is about down here about a mile plus so we're far enough from the parking lot we're still pretty darn close to the road, which is a good thing because you can you can hear the cars coming in and you kind of got a heads up what's going on. So that's a plus. Now, we can't go from this wiki hub forward. We can't do that. We need to go diagonal, but we got to be careful and make sure we're still on public use land before we get to that farmer's property. I don't want to do that. That's trespassing. That's not right. So anywhere this direction, not going to happen. That direction, too close to the TP Island. Uh, that direction, very promising. What I'm looking for is some heavy cover. And what we got, these down trees here and these vines that are growing up around them. 
Oh, we got some firewood right here, friends. Nice firewood. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, that's kind of dry rotted. Yeah, we can get something out of the top of it. All right. But, uh, okay, where were we? So we're going to go over here a little bit. Uh, this is high ground. It's got a divot right in the middle. What's over here? All right, hang on one second. First off, when I tell you I have been wandering around for a good hour. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, but I think we found a good location. River, you can barely see it right there. The edge of the wild or the public use land is that way. 75 yards. The road, you can't even see it, but you can hear it. Is that way about 125 yards. The wiki up, which you can't see, is over that way, where we're going to get the poles. Oh, maybe 30 yards at the most. Actually, we need to cut, do a, that's going to be rough. Let's go this way. I checked it on the Google map. We're still on the public use land. And I bookmarked it, or I put a GPS pin with my tracking app. Okay, we can go this way. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to work. I checked all the trees. The only one that's pretty sketchy is this little guy right here. Uh, but if it falls, it'll fall into that one and go that way. As you can see, the leaves are matted down here, which means water's traveled. But the leaves are kind of raised up there, so no water on that section. Uh, the wind probably comes in from this way. As you can tell, how these trees have fallen. Yeah, see that one's leaning there. That's a good day. Yeah, that one's definitely dead. <laughs> and yeah, we're not that far from the wiki up. Let's get down here just a little bit further as I bounce you around a bit. Woo! Oh, I found this. I don't know what's going on here. If somebody cut this perfectly good freaking tree down. Uh, but I can tell you that will make a good backup TP pole. And that'll huh, be good for something too. But the area we were in right there, you can't even see where I was. Well, I can kind of see the blue of my my uh, dry bag. And we just walked down this way just a little bit further and turn. There is a wiki up right there so the road's that way we're diagonal like i wanted to be and the river's that way and the end of public use land is that way so let's get these tp poles moved i think it'll fit right there perfectly and the sun usually comes in from this direction so that won't be a problem we can either put the door there or right here the ground is clay, sand, silt mix, and dry. Still mushy though, but dry. Right here we have, are you still alive? Well, I don't know. Maybe not, this might have to go. I don't know, we're gonna leave it. I call this here, that's not what it is, but I call it a river birch. We got several of those. We've got mulberry right here, mulberry there. We have a deer rubbing. very old we got some people target practicing across the river i hope <laughs> in fact we're surrounded by mulberries we've got our three thickest poles which are going to be the main support poles and i've lined up the little grooves i cut this one there that one there is that one yeah there it is that one there and we'll just tie these together in a bob knot and then hoist them up
we've got everything up there, but I'm just not happy with this pole. It needs to go threaded through there or have like a curve in it to come down a bit because that's just too high where it is. You know, I'm thinking about it. There's that fresh deadfall over there and it's got a skinny top section to the pole. We might be able to use that instead. So you know what? I'm going to grab my saw, run over there, cut that and bring it back and see if that's going to fit a lot better than what I have now. I think it will. I think this piece is going to work because you see it's got that little bend right there and I can weave it in. Um, now we got to get it back to camp without dragging it and leaving a trail. Fun fact, this bow saw right here is five years old last week. Same design. I've had it for five years. <laughs> no modifications. Well, different blades. Figure that one out. <laughs> that worked out better than I expected. Look at all that good grouping up there. Ha! <laughs> I'm very happy. Well, kind of. I was cutting that knot off and yeah, it split the pole a bit, but it'll be okay. Uh, but see how it's all nicely and tightly grouped? Everything is nicely weaved together. Now we just got to climb up there and tie everything off. And that's what this little guy here is for. We'll be using that, that cordage. There's that tarp we uh, liberated along with some of its cordage and the rest is in there. So we're going to tie this. This is where I want the front door to be. From here to here. And then my fat butt's going to hop up there and tie all that together. That should be interesting. That, friends, it's called a bob knot. <laughs> I have no clue what I tied, but I can tell you it's going to hold, I think. <laughs> Basically, we wrapped around the poles, we interweaved, interweaved, made sure everything is nice and tight. Uh, might trim that down a little bit. Yeah, maybe not. I'll just leave it. Okay. Let's hop down real quick. What's more impressive, that held. I didn't fall off. We can see the sunlight. Oh, we got plenty of time. Good thing I got an early start on today. Yeah, you can't see it from here. Hang on. Yeah, look at that bob knot. <laughs> oh, God, that's terrible. Uh, now I need to decide what I want to do. I'm getting a little hungry. I wish I had my watch with me but i don't uh this will be a fire pit area eventually right here because it's level and i'm not really seeing much in the way of tree, tree roots i don't think there'll be any right here in this area and we might get some from that guy i'm not sure we'll have to look Ugh. wow that's that's gonna be perfect uh next i think since i've already got that on there we should go ahead and put the cover on real quick and see if we can get all the poles in position and then we'll stake them in so they'll stay there and then the next time we come out all we have to do is basically put the cover on it i might go steal my stump from the wiki up so i'll have something to stand on let's try the cover first let's see there's that cordage here is the cover. Before I do this, I need to find a place we can fold it up at because we're really socked in here. Uh, maybe over there. If not, there's... Well, crap. <laughs> I guess we'll... Oh, that area might work. That might work. Ow! Anything <laughs> got me.
So we've got the top started. I'm very happy with the vent hole up there. We're gonna go all the way down and uh, attach these two pieces together. First, we need to remove this, and then we're going to move the poles where these are and stake those down and pull it out. And then we're gonna pull the stakes out. Then I'll get some permanent stakes and put in there. And I have a tree in mind, a downfall, that'll work perfect for that. But first we need to take this off. And as you can see, we have one heck of a bob knot to work with. I just checked the time and it's almost four o'clock. <laughs> it's getting a little later than I thought. Son, you lied to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, the most important part of putting a TP cover on it, actually getting the freaking doors to, door to open and close, to the front flaps, is you got to have it put together. Now, over here, we got our stakes. Fun fact, I did not buy any of these. These are all tent stakes I have liberated from homeless camps and abandoned campsites. Yeah, look at all that. Free. <laughs> So that's the one perk of cleaning somebody else's mess up. So basically what we're gonna do is we'll stake this little guy up, make it nice and taut from here to the top like that. Push it in. Oh, the soil feels good. Really good, not damp at all. Then we start moving our poles to where we need them. Then staking down. Well, that pole's gonna be perfect. We'll have to push it into the ground here in a little bit, but I just need to get it. Actually, that's not gonna be bad. Let's see. We do need an air gap. We need that somewhat taut. Let's put that in. You know what? I like it. I don't think we'll have to push it in any. Then we'll do this side. And that needs to be moved over which is not going to be easy to do. Okay, so I'm going to have to put you down and get all these sticked out. We've got our cover on. And the front door is not so tight you can't open and close it. We still got a little play in it. And I'm really liking where the afternoon sun is hitting this thing. That's freaking perfect. Uh, we've got it all staked out. And it's not tight anywhere except for right here. We need to fix that. Something's trying to poke through. I did have to cut this leg, which I don't recommend doing ever. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> If I could figure out where the other piece of it went, here it is. Good thing I did because it was kind of rotten. This needs to be pulled up a little bit, but that's not really hurting anything. How taut is that? Actually, we could probably, yeah, I don't want to do it now with this there, but pull it out, then pull that out. Whoa, what is this? We have stirred up a spider. <laughs> Boy, I hope the pernesium on these jeans is still good. Mm, it must be above 40 degrees, that's for sure. You get him to come out. Huh. Okay. Concerning. Uh, next phase of the project. We're going to grab Mr. Machete. We're going to go over there where that tree was, and we're going to harvest, harvest some of the limbs, and we're going to make tent sticks out of them. I think we've harvested enough. Okay, can you see the teepee? There we go, right there. Where are we? <laughs> I got lost, that's not good. <laughs> Look you up right there, teepee right there. So we're a good distance and we've got a lot of good camo. Let's get this over there and get them stakes made. Let's go inside one time before I decide to take her apart. Yeah, there's the problem there. Oh, that's an easy, easy fix. The, there's a carabiner up there that's clipped. And if we take it off, 
can stretch that out. See, there we go. That's helping quite a bit. Wow, that's not bad. It lined up pretty freaking good. This can be pulled out a bit since we did that, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Um, She is folded. It wasn't easy, but that was enough room. <laughs> I probably could have done it a little bit tighter. But yeah, yeah see, so you clean those off. Make 10 sticks there. We're okay. And then we'll go ahead and stake out the poles. This is going to be like take five of me trying to explain why I put tents or these stakes on the poles. <laughs> so, yeah, <clears throat> I am getting hungry. What I did is basically put these stakes in here. And there's a reason for it is when the ground thaws, heats up thaws, the poles will tend to start sliding out. The stakes will stop that and cause the poles to sink in. That way, the next time we come out here, we don't have to move the poles around to put the cover on because it's already set now eventually i'll either pound them in or put some tie-offs in a clip so when we put the cover on next time we'll just clip it to the stake now i'm going to bring you over here <laughs> we have stashed everything in the pack we're not using right now because it is getting dark and i do want to come out of here in the dark and i'll show you why later now that we got you on the tripod, you can see we got the stove set up because we're going to make something to eat to power up so I can hike out of here. Either way I decide to take, it's going to be a mile plus. I'm going to need the energy. Uh, it doesn't make sense to start a fire right now. It's just going to be a waste of materials. Uh, why I want to come out of here in the dark, as you know, my good flashlight bit the big one. And Cole, thank you for the uh, link. I did find a battery I might try out. Is I want to try out this new flashlight. Before you ask, yes, this is a through night. Uh, it's the TC20, I think. Can you see that there? I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> no, they did not send it to me. <clears throat> no, this video is not being sponsored by them. And before you ask, no, I'm not a sell at. I just bought it for a reason. And <clears throat> as I got a fur ball going, and I'll explain that reason in a separate video. But I want to use this guy on the way out and see how bright it really is. And have no fear, I do have a backup flashlight in case things go south and it doesn't work out the way I want. Alrighty. What are we going to have for dinner? Sitting next to that gumbo. We tried last week. I think it was like the best value or whatever. This was like the chunky gumbo. And it looks like it's got more vegetables than the other one did. And sausage and chicken. Because the last one, oh my god. <laughs> there was three sausages. One thing I think was chicken. And they said something about pull apart pork. Pull apart pork. <laughs> but I don't think that's what it was. I think I actually ate a tree leaf. But it wasn't bad. <laughs> So what we need to do 
let's put that on a very low heat. We're going to pour this little guy in there and see what happens. First, I want to see how much there is. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of vegetables. I'm seeing a lot of rice. I'm seeing carrots. Okay, this is starting to look promising already. Huh. Not much on a sausage or chicken then. Interesting. Yep. I've got to bob this up somehow, but that will be featured in another video. All right, let's get this started. I think it's cooled off enough to do a little taste test. Hmm. Let's try a sausage. Hmm. Still a little warm. I think that's a chunk of chicken. <laughs> All right, chicken cube. Let's try this little guy. Hmm. Not bad. You're going to find this very interesting, though. The gumbo we had last week, even though it didn't have a lot of sausage in it, was much better. Why? It was spicier, had a good twang to it, and I think these are just hot dogs, <laughs> and the other one was summer sausage. So the cheaper one was the best, but it did not, it did not have a... Uh, a lot of ingredients in it hmm very interesting okay so we're gonna go ahead and eat this anyway because I'm starving um as the Sun slowly sets we are all loaded up and ready to go both packs are sealed I got my emergency flashlight here or my main one just in case something bad happens to the through night <laughs> picked up all the trash made sure the area was clean <sighs> well, now we're just waiting for the darkness to hit. It's not total darkness yet. <laughs> we still have a little light left. Not much, though. But the more I sit here, the colder I freaking get. So I need to get moving. So I'm going to navigate from here to the wiki up. And let's try to light out real quick, since it is somewhat dark. Oh, wow, that's not bad. No flickering in the camera. Let's go to turbo mode. That's turbo mode. Not much difference in the turbo mode. Uh, let's try that again. It's regular, then one, we go one, two, it's turbo mode. Interesting. Kinda kinda ruining the old night vision here. Alright, so let's grab the gear and go from here to the uh, wiki up. And in the meanwhile, I'm gonna turn Elizabeth on because I'm curious. How much longer this next trek's gonna be out of here? Because we're not gonna go the normal way. Oh! We're finally at the wiki up, and it is quite a bit darker. Let's uh, turn the flashlight on. Not bad. That's pretty darn bright. Turbo mode. Not much difference in the turbo mode. Huh. There's the t shirt. <laughs> Uh, this thing is pretty bright and small. Okay, so how the heck are we going to get out of here? All right, let's get orientated. All right, that way. River. It's got a good throw on this thing, too. That way. TP Island. Uh, let's see. If we stand here. Actually, I'm going to have to turn this light off so I can get orientated. Okay. Uh, you can't see it, but in the distance, there's a white tree. I'll show you when we get closer. We need to go that direction. That should take us to the road. And then, this direction over here. And we can still see a little of the horizon. Cool. So, that would be the river over that way. And then, that direction would be the new TP location. Okay, there is the white tree. Well, it looks white tree I was talking about. That's what we navigated to. And let's see if we can see the wiki up from here. No. All right, let's go turbo mode. Nope, you cannot. All right, well, theoretically, the road should be that way. 
All right, so we're at the road, and the entrance is that direction up there where you can see the horizon. So what we're gonna do, take this stick, and we're gonna stick it in the ground as a marker, and I just blinded myself. Ah, I ain't going there. All right, we're gonna stick it there. This ground is freezing already. That's better. There is our marker. That's the way we came out. Look, now we're gonna hike down this road till we get to the parking lot. Okay, Michelle just gave me a stats reading when I started going down the road. It's 335 yards from the wiki up to the road. So it's a little farther than I thought. That's not bad. We're back at the Mountaineer. I did check the stats real quick and I'll roll those photos in for you. It was about, I want to say uh, it's 0. 0.6 miles from the camp to the road. So that's not bad. It actually took us 22 minutes to get here. That wasn't bad at all. So from here, taking it around the riverbank and to get into the new TP location, it's about 1.1 miles, so about a mile, maybe, give or take. That's not bad either. Uh, so now I know if I need to bug out quick, the road's the best option. Let's go down to the river and see how bright this light is. All right, we're at the river. Let's power this guy up. Normal mode, turbo, not bad. Um, Distance-wise, this flashlight is not a long throw flashlight. It's more of a floodlight, to be honest with you. Uh, I can see the wing dams. You cannot. They're coming back in. And you can see the water's receded. The boat ramp's coming back. And if you look over there, uh, yeah, you can kind of see the shoreline. It'll it'll fade out a little bit more from there. I'll just go, doo -doo -doo -doo, and then it'll level out, and then there'll be a shoreline right there we can fish off of. All right, next thing we want to do is we're going to go to the marker. That's not bad. It can almost make it across the river. It's definitely lighting stuff up across there. Look, man, you can't even see it. <laughs> uh, I wish my other light worked. Then we can compare them. Uh, okay, so we're going to go. Turn that off. Don't need it. We're going to go from that marker and see how far it is from the marker to the uh, entrance. Okay, there's our marker. That's where we came out at. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and leave you on until we get to the gate. And we'll see how far that is from the gate. say they've done a lot of work on this road since the flooding and fixed it you can see why they've graded it all right should be the gate should be right around this corner here's the gate and that's the entrance to the public use uh, land <laughs> In fact, if we get the light to come on, I can't find a button. Not good. There we go. Uh, there it is there. And, well, you can't see. <laughs> hey, now we can see. That is the levee right there. You should never drive on a levee. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm talking to you. <laughs> All right, friends, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Let's recap today's events real quick. We uh, got the TP poles. Well, first we cleaned up somebody's trash, which set me behind about a half hour. No worries. Oh, crap, we forgot to go get the darn bucket. Uh, we'll grab it next time. We need to turn this light off so we don't blind people. There we go. And we picked up the trash in the process. We acquired a tarp and some cordage, which will come in handy for something someday, I'm very sure of. 
we got the TP poles moved to another location where I'm more than confident that nobody is going to find it. Sorry, I had to drop in and edit right there. My phone started ringing. Yeah, I'm in trouble, friends. <laughs> Big trouble. But anyway, uh, so from the new TP location to the wiki up to the uh, road was roughly about what is it 300 now say 340 foot not too far and then from the tp location to the parking lot 0.6 a lot shorter than it would be walking around the river uh bank which is about a mile so i'm more than confident that nobody's going to find the new tp and we do have a bug out location just in case something goes bad we know we can get back to the mountaineer a lot faster too because it only took 22 minutes to do that all right, friends, we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to have to make some phone calls or a phone call because, hey, well, you know. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming along with me on my journey, and I shall see you on YouTube.